So there are people who love traveling and then there are people who love traveling smartly. This video is actually for both these type of people and I'm going to show you some travel gadgets that are absolutely essential. And all of which, by the way, are also affordable. So let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right into the list. One quick note, watch out for the last bonus gadget. That's probably the most essential. Trust me. Number one, this is the gadget box that we all actually need because this is like the god of gadget boxes. So you can open this box and it has this USB-C to C cable, but there are different tips for all sorts of devices. There's a lightning tip, a USB-A one, and also a micro USB one. So basically you can turn this into any cable you want, but that's not the most interesting part. The interesting thing is that this is a 15 watt wireless charger. I'm not even kidding. Plus this works as a phone stand, not done yet. This even works as a micro SD card reader. It works as a torch and you also get a SIM ejector and slot for SIM cards. Yeah, it pretty much has everything. Yes, this is probably the ultimate traveling kit for 2000 rupees. See, when you're on a flight, you can watch movies and shows like this and get cervical. Or you can buy this 450 rupees flight phone holder and travel more smartly. So you can just set it up in front of you and enjoy your movies and shows like this. This is way better, right? I also like that this phone holder can be rotated and even the angle can be set up. So you can set it up according to you. In fact, there are a lot of other ways you can use it. And it's small, fits right into your pocket. So it's very versatile. Next up is an invisible laptop stand. I mean, I have the laptop stand attached right now, but can you see it? No, right? Well, voila. So this 1500 rupees stand is actually very, very cool. It's not visible when you use your laptop normally, but when you want to use the stand, you can just set it up like this and use it on the go. Very cool. It has two angles and it has magnets built in and I like the elevation it brings. I mean, I can rest my palms here and just type without any problems. There's no wobble and it's very nice and stable. There is some wobble in the corners, but you don't type here, do you? So this is surprisingly good and unlike most laptop stands, this is super thin and super lightweight at 85 grams, so it does not really add any weight to your laptop. It does attach via an adhesive, which made me doubtful, but it can also be removed without any scratches or marks and also reused. Look, let me make one thing very clear. Size matters when it comes to travel gadgets. Smaller size, the better, right? This is your usual 10,000 mAh power bank and this is your 10,000 mAh nano power bank. I mean, power banks are something everyone carries while traveling and the size of this nano power bank makes it a very useful device while traveling. It's way more comfortable to carry in your pocket and it has all the features. There's a USB-A port, USB-C port with support for 20 watt PD charging and quick charge 3.0. And if you're wondering, this actually uses high density lithium ion cells that are generally used in EV batteries. That's the small size. As for the price, this nano power bank costs 1700 rupees, so pretty good. Also, a special mention to this power bank that costs 2400 rupees, which might not be very small, but it has wireless charging support and also works as a stand. Very handy indeed. I know there are a lot of 3-in-1 wireless chargers out there, but this one's probably the best when it comes to travel. Look, I say that because this can be folded like this and this attaches magnetically and this design makes it extremely travel friendly. Now, this is great for when you're staying in a hotel because you can use this to charge your phone, your earbuds and your smartwatch. This works with Android devices and it has MagSafe support, which makes it even better for Apple devices. I also like that it has these LEDs that show you if the charging is active or not. The price is a bit high at 4,500 rupees, but I think this is very practical. Next up is this adapter that works all around the globe. And that is why I call this Mr. Worldwide. As you can see, it has the power output socket here and you also get two USB ports. But what makes this essential is the different types of plugs it comes with. It has a plug that works in India, plus some Asian and European countries, a plug for US and Japan, a plug for Australia, and one for the UK. Plus it has this locking mechanism and I like the compact size of the adapter. Honestly, this is something you need if you travel overseas a lot. And for like 400 rupees, this is just worth it. Look, if you're one of those solo travelers, I know taking photos can be a very tough job. And this is where this super handy, super cheap, 179 rupees camera shutter button comes in really handy. So this is how it looks like, very simple, but you can turn it on, pair it with your phone via Bluetooth and that's it. Now you can just set up your phone, pose and use this camera shutter button to click photos like this. How awesome is this? I mean, this is great because with this, you can be an introvert and still travel. 
So time for the bonus gadget. And like I said, this probably is the most essential device in the list. Now wondering what this is? So you know how when you travel abroad, there's no jet spray in toilets, even the toilets in hotels, some hotels in India, flights don't have jet sprays. Yeah, get this for you or your better half. Yeah. So all the links are in the description, so check them out and comment down below which one was your favorite gadget in this whole list. So comment down below, also give this video a like if you found it useful and share it with your friends who travel a lot and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Yeah, subscribe right now. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Three super useful Android gestures that you really should be using. Did you know that you can swipe down at the bottom edge of the screen and...